Hey, this is Lucas, and I uh, wanted to show uh, a uh, rectifier block here from my Clark 180 EN welder and uh, how this has failed. Uh, I, I've since bought a replacement for this and, and I have indeed gotten the welder going as I'll show in a later video, but uh, this had interesting mode of failure and I think these two diodes represent it very well. The uh, actual connection has popped off of these, so there's a gap there and uh, there's a uh, gap on, on this one uh, right here. Here we go. Uh, so they actually came loose and I'm thinking they were I'm, th I'm guessing that if one fails then the others probably cascade in a, in a failure mode. There's another one right there. This one just had failed too. Uh, they show evidence of overheating and I'm guessing that if one or two of them fail that uh, the current draw probably goes up on the other ones. I, I'm not certain about that but it seems like this thing has gotten much worse with age. Anyway this was dated uh, 05. I'm guessing this was uh, put together in uh, April of 05. Uh, Clark is a uh, uh, welder that is made in Italy, so uh, April 05. Uh, anyhow, I've, I've replaced this and the uh, welder works well. Uh, just a comment on uh, you know taking it apart and uh, getting the uh, you know getting all the wires back in the right spot it was actually quite easy uh, there's a, a thermal switch that goes here and uh, three of the uh, you know I'm guessing that this is the ground these two are the conductors that are bringing in the 220 volt this one's a 220 volt uh, system and then uh, these are the taps the DC taps that go to the uh, wire feed motor so anyhow uh, it's pretty easy to replace it took about well half an hour to get the old one out and put the new one in and uh, now it's working well we'll uh, see a demonstration of that in the uh, next segment okay this is Lucas uh, got a uh, Clark welder here I'm gonna put on uh, put for sale on uh, Craigslist and uh, it's a 180 EN and it works well it's uh, wire feed and I've got it loaded with a flex core wire it's going to uh, include the uh, pressure regulator and that uh, Clark helmet, which works. Uh, I'll be using a different helmet. That one does work. Uh, the reason I'm using a different helmet is I've got a diopter adapter in this one, and I'm, I'm pretty old. I'm 53, so I'm not seeing as well as I used to. Anyway, uh, we're going to weld up, uh, just show that this thing works. Uh, we're going to fire it up here and, uh, and do a little welding. Okay, so what I've got here is just a uh, piece of uh, tubing. It's roughly an eighth of an inch in cross section. I've got a gap here uh, that we're going to weld. It's, uh, I've, I've done it once uh, here, and that's a really sloppy weld, but we'll, we'll try to tighten it up a little bit on, on this one. So it's just uh, just to show that the uh, welder is functional, and uh, as it is, it's, uh, we're going to fire it up here. So there's the uh, welder in operation and uh, actually laid down a pretty nice bead on that one. We'll uh, try to show it here. I'll bring it up like this. See if we can't get a good look at it. That's a bead we just we just laid down right there. So uh, again it's a 180 amp welder. Uh, it is uh, June of 2012 and uh, it's going to be on Craigslist. Uh, not with this helmet but with with this helmet, it's part of the deal. And without the uh, without the the uh, cutter, anyway, that's the that's the package, including the uh, including that regulator. Okay, this is Lucas signing off.